welcome everybody for the first uh, daily mass of the of the mission uh, onward to the kingdom uh, today uh, we are renewing our story. We celebrated our, our story a little bit last night at the, at the concert with uh, John and Gotti, and he's going to be back again this evening at St. John and Paul, so I invite everybody there uh, to hear some very in inspiring uh, stories and uh, music and prayer. Um, and to start our, ourselves off this morning, to prepare ourselves for Mass uh, and to get in the mood of the of the mission, let us pray together uh, the mission prayer. Heavenly Father, guide us during this Lenten mission to find our story in you. Fill our hearts with your grace as we strive to celebrate, renew, tell, connect, and live our stories. As we renew our resolve each day to become your disciples, let us hear your voice in the deepest reaches of our hearts. Help us to hear, accept, and celebrate each other as we learn and share on this Lenten journey. Stay with us through our mission week, reminding us that when we need wisdom or guidance, we can always turn to you. Help us to develop confidence in our story and acceptance of others' stories as we grow closer to each other through the encounter with your story of love that is this Lenten mission offers. We, in your name we pray. Amen. Welcome to St. Francis, St. Maximilian. Now let's all stand for our gathering song, Come Now is the Time to Worship.
Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To more worthily celebrate these holy mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, calling on God's ever-present love and mercy for us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. still in Lent, even though it's a Marian feast. Oh, it says it's supposed to say Does it? Lord, really? Yeah. I'm wrong then. Go ahead. <laughs> My fault. So you want to do it or not? Yeah. Go ahead. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to do it then. <laughs> My it's fault. It's a special <laughs> feast. One. <laughs> Let's start over. <laughs> we're praising God for Mary. Lent, Lent is always uh, also a time to start over, so <laughs> let's, be, let's begin again. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great Let's 
Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as another world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. Is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sin. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By his will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, for her who is called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. I begin my reflection, I would ask the favor of your blessing. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Thank you. We celebrate the Annunciation of our Lord, the visit of Gabriel to Mary today. Uh, and to a certain extent, she fulfills in our part the, 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 what we hear in that second reading. Uh, as much as Jesus responds to his father, I have come to do your will, where do you think he learned that from? His mother, right? Because she says, behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done according to your word, according to your will. Uh, and so she's... Uh, a wonderful example for us, especially on our Lenten journey uh, as we uh, embark on this Lenten mission uh, to encounter and renew our story in the story of salvation, in the story of Jesus. Uh, and that story really begins in, 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 a, in a large part with Mary, who's just a simple, very young, young lady who doesn't understand, right? She doesn't understand how this is going to happen. She doesn't completely understand what it's going to mean for her life, but she does have the sense, yeah, that it's going to be uh, completely different than what she planned for herself, right? She was betrothed to, to, to Joseph the carpenter. They were going to have a nice quiet life there in Nazareth. Uh, you know, spending many years in love and tranquility, uh, maybe having some children, who knows. Uh, 
and yet, no, uh, the angel comes to her, no, no, that's not going to, that's not your life. God calls you to something much greater than that. And we kind of over-sentimentalize Mary's, Mary's life. I mean, basically what, what God is telling her, no, instead you're going to be an unwed mother. You're in a small town, so everybody's going to judge you. As a matter of fact, you're going to run to the hills to, to, to visit uh, uh, Elizabeth. There's two interpretations of that. One, she's checking uh, to, to, to uh, the sign that God gives her. Another, uh, another is that she has to get out of town because uh, of, the, of the judgment and the danger. Uh, because what would, what would happen to a woman if they were found unfaithful uh, and, betroth and, and betrothed to somebody? They'd be stoned to death. So she, she was not, she, you know, and then when Jesus is, is, is born, what happens? They gotta, they've they've got to gotta run as refugees, as exiles in, in Egypt for, for many years. And just as they get, they get there for, for several years, they get settled there, they feel uncomfortable there, then, then uh, Joseph receives another dream. Okay, it's time to leave again and go back to your, to go back to your homeland. See, everything it, it, that, that Mary thought was going to be was upheaved. And yet, what was her response? I trust in your word. And she truly takes to heart the angel's proclamation that nothing will be impossible for God. See, sometimes we experience impossible situations. Circumstances that just can seem overwhelming. In those moments, we need to have the same faith of Mary. Hang on to the word of God. Hang on to the, to the love that God has for us. And trust that although it might seem impossible, nothing is impossible for God. He is in it with us. He is always there for us. And he will walk with us through everything. Whether it's a good day or a bad day, a good week or a bad week. Sometimes we had bad, bad years. But God walks with us through it all. The challenge is, will we walk with, it, with him through it all? See, we have the same choice that Mary did. We have that choice every time that we come to the altar. Every time that, that God makes himself present. God with us, Emmanuel. He asks us, I want to accompany you. I want to be with you. I want to be in you. I want to be for you. I want to live through you. Do we truly mean those words when, when we hear them? And we're really, it's important to know when, 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 when we pray the Eucharistic prayer, that's the consecration and all the prayers that, 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 that bring about the, the, uh, the, the coming of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. It truly is we are praying that. Father is speaking the words, but he's leading us all in prayer. We all need, it's not, this is not a show. This is, this is, this is not a Monday morning movie. This is the work of the people. We all pray together. And so, yes, Father has a particular role to lead us, and we're consecrated especially to do that. But we pray it all together, and so we need to pray those words together. And at the end of the Eucharistic prayer, yeah? With him, in him, and through him. See, we need to hear in that that he wants to be with us, in us, and through us. But in order for him to be in us, and with us, and through us, we need to be in him, and with him, and through him. You see, it's a two-way path. Uh, Sister Putro used to say in the seminary, sacraments are always a two-way movement. 
It's not just God pouring stuff out onto us. We need to make an offering of ourselves, and it's an interchange, and it's an exchange of gifts. We give ourselves, and God gives himself. He truly wants to give himself to you this morning. But in order to receive him, we have to offer ourselves, whatever it is that we have, whoever it is that we are, with complete confidence and humble honesty. Because if we're honest with ourselves, even Father makes mistakes. I demonstrated to that, to you did that uh, at the beginning of Mass today, right? We're not perfect. But thanks be to God, he doesn't expect us to be perfect in everything that we do. He only expects us to be faithful. To give ourselves, however we find ourselves, fully to him. And he will make us perfect in his love. He donates to us everything that we don't have. If we just give him what we do have. So let us make an offering just like Mary. Say, yes, Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And trust. See, that's the, that's the challenge. Is then we have to believe. We have to trust that he will actually do it. Even when there's no evidence to support it from this world. Nothing will be impossible for God. We imitate Mary's act of faith as together we stand and profess, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Almighty God has done great things for us. Together, let us gather our needs and the needs of all our brothers and sisters and ask God to look upon us with favor. Our response to this morning's prayers will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May God bless the leaders of the church with the uprightness of service of the gospel. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God make renowned among the nations those leaders who work for justice and peace. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God unify us and bless us as a holy dwelling, as modeled by Mary our mother. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God raise the lowly of the earth to the mercy promised to our ancestors and fill them with every good thing. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God listen to the intentions found in the silence of our hearts. May God hear us and help us know the divine love. 
For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God grant everlasting life to all those who have died, believing in the word of God. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, hear our prayer. Hear us, God the Son. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Mercy on your people, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours <coughs> may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on the solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Oh. rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May we make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Jesus, Christ. 
<laughs> Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through Christ and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Form us by your word and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, so that confessing that he who was conceived by the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. For the final blessing, I just want to give thanks uh, to God for the uh, many priests that are here come celebrating with, with, with us. Uh, Father Tim, the pastor at St. Uh, John Vianney, Father Ron, the pastor at St. Isidore, Father Roman, the pastor and, uh, at St. Uh, Lawrence and our vicar, uh, and uh, Monsignor Carpio, who's the uh, vicar general of the Diocese of Zacatecaluca in El Salvador, who's visiting us for the week. So thank you for uh, being with us. Now that we've fed our souls, we also have a little bit of something to feed our bodies uh, and, and uh, to uh, extend this, this uh, celebration with a little fellowship. So everybody's invited to the hall for a little bit of a, uh, of a uh, celebration. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth now and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Time. 